Hi, everybody. Welcome. In our last chapter, we started a theme of discussing how we experience the world with the most basic sensory information entering human awareness. Then perception is our making sense of all of that, right? Here, chapter four on states of consciousness stays on this topic of perception. Consciousness is everything you're aware of at a given time in a 24-hour day. Consciousness refers to external sensations from activities happening around you, and it also refers to internal sensations, like your running stream of thoughts or your feelings, or internal sensations like when you're feeling hungry or you're feeling sleepy or something like that. So again, basically everything you're aware of at a given time in a 24-hour day. The most interesting topic for us in this chapter is how changes in our awareness can come about from our circadian rhythm and when we're asleep. We briefly discuss uh, how circadian rhythms, interesting, regulates all vital life functions. You may or may not know that. Circadian rhythm, heart rate, blood pressure, it determines your sleep and wake patterns, and it influences your overall mental alertness. In the daily life of students, your circadian rhythm affects your learning efficiency. Sometimes of day you learn more efficiently than others, and even your moods. So no question that the centerpiece of this chapter is our study of sleep and what happens when we sleep. Everybody's always interested in that. Sleep is considered a form of consciousness because we can actually sense external stimuli uh, and we do react to our own dream content, which we would consider to be internal stimuli, right? So when you're asleep, you're not awake, but you are considered to be conscious. And that's why it's in this chapter. Hour by hour, we move through different stages of, sl of the sleep cycle, mostly non-REM sleep, when we're, our body is getting the most rest. But getting enough REM sleep, that's dream time, is especially important for students. REM stands for rapid eye movement. It's when your eyeballs are moving as if they're watching a, uh, a, a, a dream projected on the inside of your eyelids. In this chapter, we'll distinguish REM sleep from non-REM sleep, which refers to the rest of the, of the sleep cycle when you're not spent in REM. Students need to know that REM sleep consolidates learning and organizes memory, allowing for uh, better, better recall of learned information and giving you the mental alertness during that next day. Notice that you need six or more hours of unbroken sleep to get the substantial REM sleep needed to feel mentally alert and sharp for all your classes. At the end of this chapter, of course, we have to discuss dreams. So interesting. Dreams are really, really fascinating. Sleep researchers have studied dreams because they can be so interesting, and humans have, for centuries, have sought meaning in their dreams. What is this about? What does this mean? But as we'll discover in this chapter, the science of dreams is actually really limited. Uh, we cannot confirm what dreams mean, uh, and we only have theories about their purpose. Really fascinating stuff, this chapter. So let's dive into this chapter and explore your inner life, the, uh, your own state of consciousness. Great stuff. Let's go.